Well right, guys, so I've got a lot of bones to pick with this new YouTube UI. I've seen all over Reddit, people have got mad about it, and for good reason. This was sort of like teased, I'd say nearly a month ago. I think I found it in an alternate account that I had, or was it logged out, something like that. But then it seemed to have disappeared, so it's like they're trying to test the waters or something. But now it seems to be back. I logged in today and <laughs> this mess happens. There is so much wrong with this. Honestly, there's pretty much nothing right with it. So I don't know what in God's name they're thinking putting this on us when... They've, they've got the feedback, haven't they? Like, no one approves of this, do they? And I'm wondering who the hell designed it, because it not only looks like hot dog sh but it's actually fundamentally broken in several ways. Yeah, what do you see here? A lot of shit. First of all, like, more of an excuse to push ads on us. Can I even... No. Probably no point then. To put it in the simplest way, they've flipped around the recommended videos and the description and stuff. Apparently, so you can um, read the comments while watch the video. Let me test this quick. I think I'll stay in amazing, even if I do think Banana Launcher is mostly better. Okay, so you can scroll through the comments while watching a video. There. A lot of people were reporting that doesn't work, but I seem to be fine with that. So I'll give them that at the very least. You can actually scroll comments while watching a video. So that's something. But I'm like, does that really have its advantages? Also, it's sort of covered by the stuff at the top, but the comments come up immediately, so like, you could even be spoiled or something. So if you like watching an episode of Taskmaster and it spoils the winner or someone spitting donuts into southern mouth or something, you see it straight away, takes away from the surprise. They've had this issue on mobile as well, actually. The top comment seems to show up, so you've got to be like super quick to get in the video without seeing any sort of spoilers or anything like that. But that's nothing compared to this. Do people really need to see the comments and the video at the same time? When it gets a really long comment, um, okay, I don't think there's any on this particular video, but... Obviously, it's a lot more bloated now. It looks much better when they're longer, in my opinion. Although, here's probably the biggest flaw of it. That. Look at that. My channel is four f***ing letters long. And it can't even fit that all in one line. That is ridiculous. I will go over here and quick. I think that's only an issue for like the user itself, though. Obviously, it's because it's got all the buttons and stuff. Here's another channel. It comes up fine there. The other thing I hate about this is the description. Yeah. You can only see like the top three lines, but then it forced you to preview it. It takes long to get to everything. It just looks so wrong in many ways. Obviously, this isn't the only time they've changed things that I didn't like. Like, they obviously, they changed the UI a few times. I didn't like going from the previous one to this and use extensions to get it back for a while, but I sort of learned to live with it eventually and the en enlarging of thumbnails on the homepage. You used to get like six in a row or something. Now you only get four. Like, I've never liked that. What I'm gathering is that they're trying to make the thumbnails as big as possible to like increase engagement or something, which is like not the way to do it. They're almost like shoving the thumbnails in your throats. Like you sort of can't watch a video without these popping up at the bottom. They're really distracting as hell. Yeah, they seem like the titles are also short as well. I've seen complained about that. I guess it wouldn't be as bad, you know, if the recommendations were actually better. Like, what is this? Why do I care about this YouTube? I don't, exactly. I mean, at least I can hit that button, I guess. Going on Reddit too, I'll have a look at the complaints. Which I guess is a bit ironic given that their UI kind of sucks now as well. Especially on desktop. It often won't load a bunch of the comments unless you sort by new. I don't know if anyone else has found that. Can you read the titles of the recommended video because they're obnoxiously big? Click on the description prevents you from seeing the likes and comments. Oh yeah, no shot it does as well. Yeah, the comments are always bare down at the bottom. I don't mind if a live stream just fine that way. But why would you do that on regular videos? Working as intended, why have video titles? When thumbnail clickbait dominates video engagement for the mindless majority. Trying to push out ADHD algorithm. Yes, that's exactly it. Want to watch the shit we sub to, which is why we sub in the first place. Replying to a comment about having hope that this gets rolled back, apparently they won't. This was already tested on a lot of premium users a few months ago, which led to massive protests on here, but they decided to still go with it. And you're like, it's not really blows. Yeah, okay, it's an official artist one. Oh, that's the thing as well. Like, obviously, different videos are different sizes, so like they sort of cater to that a bit, which is... Yeah, it's a tiny bit annoying. Let's go in theatre mode quick. I swear that looks... The thumbnail's still there at the bottom, though. Like, sitting there in their misery. However, fear not. There are some extensions to revert this. Well, temporarily until they probably find a way to disable it, knowing them, the arseholes. First of all, let me go and... I will, I will credit all these in the description. Let's just go in the classic uBlock origin first. So that mostly fixes it. Still a few flaws with that, though. Title's huge. Thumbnails on the side are still huge. Scrolling as well is also a bit... Okay, it doesn't seem to be so bad on this one, but... Let me refresh another window, because I'm, I'm sure that I had a minor issue with scrolling before. Did it say that on there? Play that, I'll get copyrighted. Yeah, it's like... 
copy and paste our script into a new block origin to do this. Oh yeah, here, yeah, here we are. I'm not, not, not scrolling properly. I think yeah, if you go on the side, it works fine though. And if you do it on the um, thumbnails itself, which I guess is kind of ironic in a way. Like they're the issue. Yeah, I'm. That is the easiest way to scroll. But that last one I can adapt to, so I'll probably be using this from here on out. I will shout out another one though quickly. I probably should turn this one off to do that. Another one I've got is uh, Enhancer. This was also recommended on Reddit. Got all this stuff though. It doesn't seem to have. I'm not sure if it's got ad blocking in. It doesn't right now. But uh, it's got it in its original format. Except, oh, that's another thing actually. The shorts are like, <laughs> what? Why would you have them that big? I mean, that might be a problem with this extension. I don't know, but I can at least do that, I guess. If you scroll down like having the corner, that's a nice touch. There's like a bunch of other weird features that you wouldn't need normally, but an eye's there. Like a customizable scroll wheel, toggle info. That this is a nice feature as well. I'm going options, is it? Okay, it doesn't seem to be an ad blocker, but that's fine. You can use another. There's, you know, a bit of a piss take. We've got to use extensions to like make it actually look somewhat decent. Especially because the more extensions you have, the more we'll like make it run slow and stuff. I know there's a thing about them like actively sabotaging users who use adblock so make their PC run slower. That's another debate though, not really getting into that. This ain't about ads, it's about the UI. So yeah, I'll put those extensions in the description. I will say there is a slight flaw to using the enhancer. It enlarges the thumbnails for some reason on the homepage. Typically I can have four in a row on my monitor, but I can only have three with this for some reason. I don't know what's up with it. I've looked at the settings a bit and couldn't find anything to reduce the size of them. So if, you, if any of you do know what's up with that, please let me know. I mean, YouTube had been off their rocker for a bit, like especially in recent times. Removing a bunch of features that were good, and you obviously, you know, dislikes and stuff. Then adding a bunch of features that no one asked for, like pronouns and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and advertising scam council services. But to be fair, they did add one nice feature quite recently, the community clips page. That's just something nice for creators, isn't it? Just see what people have clipped out of your videos and stuff. So, yay. That totally makes up for this f***ing disaster, YouTube. So, I think that's it for this video. I'll put those extensions in the description. That new UI is absolute hot garbage. I don't know why the f*** you think it actually should be a good idea. So, I've been Golden Ninja Vlogspot. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video. And, yeah, bye.